What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Holland Bass TV. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Today, we're going to be working on this trailer. We're going to be trying to get this thing finished up. The only thing that we're not going to be doing is wiring up the lights and putting the new bunks on there. But we're here with Cody. Hey, y'all. And he's going to help me put this thing back together. We're going to get the winch on there, the rollers on there, and get everything put back together so that we can finally get this boat put up on this trailer. It's the final time until we put it back into the water. Let's roll that killer intro and get right into putting this trailer together. First thing we gotta do is take this boat from the mare, put her in a yard so that we can actually get to this trailer. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get these things attached, these two bunks in the rear. We didn't have bolts for them last time. We're going to attach those two back there. Hell yeah. Then we're going to clean this thing off a little bit and then we're going to get to work. Oh, that's the trailer and that's my knee. Ain't no need for that. A little bit of loosey loosey, tidy tidy. Oh yeah. Snug as a bug in a rug. Well, you got a rug right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that three pie carpet. This hooks to the upright portion that connects to the front of the trailer up there. We got somewhere to stop the boat. We need right mirror winch on here. So we're gonna get that mounted up on here. Surprisingly enough, these bolt holes from 1923 match up. So we're gonna run with it and let her eat. We got some big old grade eight bolts and some big old nylock washers on here just to make sure it's not going anywhere. We got the roller holders here. Some are bent, some of them are tore up, and some of them are just really freaking long. So I went out and bought me some steel rod. We're gonna make new roller pieces for each single roller. We got three of them. We got enough rod to make them all. We're gonna cut these down to size, drill a couple holes in each side, and we're gonna throw them rollers on there. We cut these down and we grind them up. You see the edge, it's a little bevel. Just like that. Time to relocate the stability arm. Got to slide her back. We got three of the new uh, ball connector on her. Go from the old inch and seven eighths to two inch. Eventually we'll replace this old rust trap that we call a stability arm. It's the equivalent of a cinder block in this day and age. Yeah. But cinder blocks cost too much and this was already on it. No better hammer than something that's not a hammer, right? This thing's about as stable as a three-legged dog. Not as stable as any relationship I've ever been in. <laughs> Get the new trailer coupler on there. Should be looking pretty. Let's get her on there, boy. All sends into the tail light and the GoPro. <laughs> She's meant. She's a doozy. Smoke the GoPro. <laughs> Do we need to use... Oh, oh 
almost done eight or two. Do we need to use the rollers? How does it sit on the bunks up on top of them? Well, I hope it sits on top of the bunks. Time to put the old bow stop and winch on this sucker. Not sure exactly where this thing needs to go, so we're just gonna send it. Time for the ratchet. Tighten these bottom bolts up, and she's gonna be ready to go. She's gonna stop a boat or two and hold her in place. About lost it there. See how she works. Look at that stability. Structurally sound. We didn't get the trailer coupler put on there because we didn't have the bolts and we didn't we kind of ran out of time there. But we did get the roller bars made and that was a big process that we had to go through between cutting, beveling them, drilling the holes in there, getting the right size. We got the, the actual rollers on there with their mounts. We got the bunks actually put back on there so that the boat sits on there and it's not just sitting on the metal, it's actually sitting on the mounts where it needs to be. And we got the winch and the bow stop on the front and it works beautifully. This thing is starting to turn out absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait until this thing is done. We have a step to put on there. We gotta draw out the holes for the coupler, get those in there. We gotta get the new bunks ordered because these are pretty rotted. Uh, as you saw that horrible carpet that was on there, but we're actually gonna get some light up bunks on there. Those are gonna be really freaking sweet. And then we gotta put the trailer lights on there. It was a lot of fun uh, with Cody getting this trailer put together. I hope you guys learned a little bit and had a good time watching the video. If you guys haven't picked up a hat already, make sure you head on over to Instagram, DM me over there, and I can get a hat sent out to you. And if you do it within the next two days, I can get it to you before Christmas. Make sure you guys, if you want a sneak peek, head on over to Instagram, at Home Bass TV. I'll link it down in the description below. Give me a follow over there. And if you guys haven't already, please go down and hit that subscribe button. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. Go get your PB for me. Spartans! What is your profession?